Hey, this is Gene. Uh, I'm actually a jazz guitar player, musician here in New York, but uh, I'm also a big uh, Nakamichi uh, cassette deck fan, user. Uh, I figured I, I had a meeting with my uh, uh, new album uh, publicist today that was postponed due to uh, she was not feeling too well. But anyway, so I'm going to take this time to record what I've been meaning to record, which is uh, Rachmaninoff Symphony Number no. 2, this guy, onto uh, 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 my cassette tape. Today I'm just going to be using this guy, TDK SA60. Um, I guess it's from the 90s, early 90s maybe. I don't ex exactly remember, but I remember uh, buying like boxes of these down at uh, JNR. <clears throat> downtown in, in New York City when they were just available for a very uh, modest price. But now I see them on uh, eBay and whatnot, and these cassette tapes are going for much, much more. It's kind of like a Bitcoin. <laughs> so, yeah, but I'm not going to be selling any of them, man, because I'm gonna, these are what I use. So first, I'm going to calibrate it. This is a Nakamichi Dragon, uh, probably not not in the, from the early uh, uh, serial numbers, but towards the end, maybe, and actually not even the end, maybe the middle. But it's been completely restored by uh, Jeff at ESL and Eric, uh, so it's uh, literally performing at uh, spec, if not better. So first side side A, be recording. This. Oops. Record. All right. Make sure everything's set right. Dolby's off. The EQ and all is correct. It's on tape. All right. First level. Let's see. Source. Tape. It's dead on. Bias. See the uh, deck calibrating the azimuth. <clears throat> before the bias test, source, tape. So you gotta bring it down so it matches. This is 15 kilohertz, so, you know, I don't think I might be, <laughs> I'm not sure if I can hear 15 kilohertz. I know my son could hear up to 18 kilohertz, but uh, over the years playing gigs after gigs and recordings and whatnot, my ears, I don't think I could hear 18K. Maybe if I'm very quiet. I see a little flutter. All these tapes, their cassette shells have tolerances, you know. Uh, so <clears throat> sometimes if I really want to make a critical recording, I check the uh, uh, why I calibrated in the beginning, the middle, and the end, because the bias can change. Even the level, I've seen with bad tapes, the levels change, Did you know, over the course of the run of the tape. So yeah, everything seems to be cool. Bias again, tape, uh, 400 hertz, 15 kilohertz. All right, so then I push reset. And the cassette tape, the tape dragon is ready to record. Nakamichi cassette deck. I have a 682ZX also restored by Jeff and Eric at the ESL on top. But absolutely, dragon is my favorite cassette deck. <clears throat> it actually goes up to 25 kilohertz if you look at the uh, graph. And uh, yeah, I mean, 1980 performing Baroness CDs in a way. All right, ciao.